I think we have to choose what is already ours to accept. It's just like Jesus died, forgave everybody, caused everyone to be resurrected, but people are not living in the reality of that. They've not chosen to accept what he's done. They've not chosen to come into that realization of the reality of what salvation has brought that we've been born from above that we're alive they've chosen not to accept that reality therefore they're living as if that reality isn't true it's still true jesus still has forgiven them he's removed their sin he's taken their lost identity he died for them and with them and they died with him but they're not aware of that they're not living in that reality, even though it's true. You know, it's like me buying you a nice present, wrapping it up, tying it in a nice bow and putting your name on it and saying, here, this is for you. But if you don't reach out and take it, it's got your name on it. It's being bought and paid for. It's yours in all it's it, other than it is not in your possession because you've chosen not to receive it. So a lot of people have chosen not yet to receive the gift of what salvation is, even though it's theirs and their names on it. And it belongs to them in reality because I've given this gift to you. You've just not received it yet. And a lot of people live in that. And a lot of Christians live in the fact that they don't believe in immortality. Hence, if someone puts some stuff up, they don't accept it and it causes the people trouble because they have like no that can't be true how can that be true and i understand why they would say that because well i don't know anyone who's lived forever you know and and because people have not chosen to receive it they've not chosen to accept it and we have the choice to accept what is already true but if you don't choose to accept it you don't live in that truth you live as if, live as if it isn't true and that's a lot of what people do. People in the world, that's, you know, quite a number of billion people choose to live in their lost identity rather than choosing to live in what Jesus has restored for them. People, a lot of Christians choose to live with an expectation that they're going to die rather than choosing to accept the reality that we can choose not to die. You know, but if you choose to die, then the likely is you're going to die. Yeah. The same is the same. If you don't choose to receive what Jesus has done, you're going to live as if that hasn't been done. But it has. The work of the cross is finished, but people live in as if it isn't. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.